Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're in the mighty mini tropolis of Barney today, Baxter Cycle, and look what I got behind me. This is a this is a video of opportunity. I just showed up and found this here, so I did a little research on it. This is a 2014 Triumph Thunderbird LT trike. The kit is made by Motor Trike. It was uh, sold by, there's the logo right there. It was sold by, uh, through Triumph, directly from the dealers. It's really quite a thing. It's got the fully independent rear suspension. It was supposed to keep the handling qualities of a, of a real Triumph. You know, check it out down there. See what we can see down here. While providing stability. At road speeds. So it's good handling, low speeds, easy light handling, low speeds, but still stable at uh, road speeds. You know, all the everything all in one kind of a thing. It had electric reverse, and I was looking for that. I don't know where it is on this bike. I, the owner is not here, and I don't have any information on it. I don't know if that's the button right there, the little bright red button, or what. But uh, electric reverse option. The parking brake has ABS brakes on the front and back. It's got big dual disc on the front. I think those are, what did I find? 300, 310 millimeter disc. Yeah, it, has an on, it has an onboard air, air compressor. It's supposed to have an air suspension. That's my understanding. I don't know if that's just on the rear, if that's front and back. came in two colors. It came in this, they call it Calypso Blue and Crystal White. Or it came in Lava Red and Phantom Black. Uh, so this was sold at the dealer like this. So it came with a full warranty. You know, I think it had a two-year warranty when it was new. We're going to try to find out if we can ride on this. I can't ride it today, but uh, we're going to talk to the owner and see if we can get an opportunity to do that. If that's possible, we'll sure do it. Uh, wheelbase on this. 68.5 inches, that's 1740 millimeters. The width, how wide this thing is, 55 inches in the back. So that's 55 inches wide from wide point to wide point. That's 1397 millimeters. And the overall weight on this thing, I'm assuming this is wet weight, but I'm not sure. 1204 pounds, that's 546 kilograms, wow. Uh, an interesting thing about this, I can't see it, we can't see it, but it's belt drive. This is ran by a belt, so that's pretty interesting too. Uh, the motor produced, this is, oh by the way, the motor is a, uh, let's see the data here, 1699cc parallel twin, dual overhead cam, four valves per cylinder, liquid cooled, producing a whopping 97 horsepower, 111 foot-pounds of torque, that's 151 newton meters, this, again, it was belt drive. Had a six-speed transmission. Has a six-speed transmission. Yes. Uh, fuel capacity, and I believe this. Look at that tank. 5.8 gallons. That's 22 liters. Now that is a tank. Forks are uh, well, they're covered, but they're 47 millimeter. It's supposed to be 4.7 inches of travel in the front. It's about 120 millimeters. I could not find anything specific on the rear except for about and about four inches of uh, travel for shocks in the rear. That's uh, about 102 millimeters. So let's just kind of look it over. First off, it's a very striking machine. It really grabs your attention. Incredibly good looking. I love all the detail in the front here. You know, this kind of, I don't want to compare it to other brands, but you know, what do you see there? You know, the big road lights and everything, the, the windshield like that, bulbous fender. I mean, look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We got to get this thing cleaned up. You know, look at these, the road, the road bars, the gigantic floorboards. I love floorboards on a motorcycle. That's how old I am. Good old Triumph mirrors. You know, look at this. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's keep looking at the side here. Even the passenger has floorboards. Anyway, you know, even has a luggage rack. Isn't that kind of a grin? You know, all this big trunk space. And, but but uh, anyway, back here, sweeping fenders, you know, backing lights, ah, probably turn signals. And these nice kind of a domed, hope the dirt doesn't cover that. Very nice looking, like there's little lines in there. I just love it. I really do. This is really quite a machine. Check out the exhaust down below. Oh, it looks like you can pull a trailer with it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Coming over to this side, he's got a two-sided shifter. <laughs> This is kind of funny. It has a side stand. Yeah, very neat. Little winglets. Looks like this fairing comes off. Okay, let's jump up here. Um, high lows, heated something or another, either probably seats or grips, blinkers, 
horn. I'm not sure what this is. Now, this is supposed to have an onboard compressor, so maybe that has something to do with that. You know, all the all the stuff right there. I just, here's the fuel gauge. 120 mile an hour speedometer. Well, must go that fast, right? But anyway, very interesting machine. Very interesting machine. I'll try to find out more about it. Like I said, we'll try to get ourselves a ride on the thing. Just for now, I'd like to point out just how absolutely amazing it is. I can't imagine there wouldn't be a big market for these things right now. They're just absolutely, especially one as good looking as this, just an incredible, incredible product. All right, y'all, if you're interested in something like this, new or used Triumph, Royal Enfield, vintage motorcycle of any type, get yourselves over to Baxter Cycle, baxtercycle.com, ask for Jeremy or Mark, let them help you out. It's a nice to react, get out and ride, wahoo!